Hi, my name is Jake Richard. I'm a project manager with Hellas Construction. I'm here at the home plate at Silex High School, where we've installed extra innings underneath the batter's boxes, uh, all the way out to the edge of the batter's circle right here. Today, I'm going to be showing you the extra innings pad that we install in the high wear areas at the pitching mound and the home plate. The batter boxes have high wear areas on them, which have Velcro as they're meant to be replaced once a year. Uh, this is 80 ounce turf. Uh, the rest of the field is 40 ounce turf. You'll be able to see the Velcro along the sides and the E-layer underneath minimizes the gravel movement underneath you and allows just the area to not experience as much high traffic wear in these high use areas, which is why there's additionally turf replacement panels. This provides safety for the players as they're sliding in, provides a better base for the turf. It's very easy to pick up, very easy to put back down, and it secures quite well. There's good weight to it. There is a piece of flashing to keep the E-layer in place there. For the installation of this, we cut down into the drain stone about half an inch. The difference between baseball and softball is going to be the slope of the mound. The mound and the pitching circle at softball and baseball are going to be the same extra innings layout, the rectangle in front of the pitching rubber. Basically where that pitcher is landing their landing foot, where they push off, it's only in the landing pad in front of the pitching rubber, not the entire circle. Thanks for dropping by here at Side Lakes High School, where we've covered the baseball and softball pitching mounds and the home plates areas where we've covered the high wear areas and the extra innings to increase the longevity of the fields. Here at Hellas, we're always thinking forward, building for sports from start to finish. I'm Jake Richard.